it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a summer look and I'm very excited. I love this look. We got the jewelry, we got the hair, we got makeup, we got the shirt, the sh summery shirt, and we got the bad Barnaby. Barnaby, you ready? Let's get to the video. <gasps> Here's Barnaby. So this is Barnaby, this is my new baby. So I curled my hair. I was just going to let it down, but then I put two bobby pins here to just hold it back while I do my makeup. But I kind of want to do something fun, so we'll see. And then I just have on this pink shirt because I feel like this is very summery. I feel like, like a little fairy right now with my uh, hair, with my jewelry. Speaking of which, let me talk to you about my jewelry before we get into the makeup. So I found this new channel called JTV's Jewel School. And the woman, Susan, she puts out videos every week on how to make your own jewelry. And I love it. I find it so entertaining and so fun. I have to say, I'm not a very crafty person at all. So like DIYs, very intriguing to watch in my opinion. I love watching them, I can watch them all day long, but I can't do any of that. My mom was very disappointed by me because I did not get the crafty gene and she like thrives and crafts and making things. So I have on this bracelet and honestly, I'm not gonna take it off to show you. So it was a bit of a struggle to get this on only because I have like acrylics on right now, so. But I love this color. I thought it was so, so pretty with this pale pink and I'm just obsessed with this whole situation going on right now. And I know I say obsessed all the time, so I'm obsessed. And then I have these little earrings, which is the same shape as the bracelet in the same color and I just, oh, so the woman Susan, she's amazing. She puts out videos each week um, teaching you how to make your own jewelry. And she does videos for making simple jewelry like rings and bracelets. But then she also makes more complicated pieces like festival inspired jewelry or Captain Marvel pendants. Like it's really, really amazing what she does and it's so fascinating to watch. You should definitely check out JTV's Jewel School and subscribe because there's a new video every week and you can learn how to make all of this amazing jewelry. I'm so jealous, I wish I could do that. So go check out recent episodes like how to make easy drop earrings and making a lariat necklace. There's so many videos, there's so much to watch, there's so much to learn. Summer is upon us, let's make our own jewelry because we have all of this free time on our hands. And if you're a senior like me, we're almost there. Not close enough, but we're almost there. And then we'll have a little bit of free time and then we go to college. Speaking of which, I know most of you have probably seen my Instagram picture. I'm going to college, but I'm doing a whole other video on like college and college tips and what everything you want to know about my college experience. So stay tuned for that. I'll just chat with you guys while I'm doing this. Obviously I'll spill some recent tea. My dog is literally eating my jeans. I've been obsessed with this new solution. I don't even know how to pronounce this word. Sika, Sika pear. Like a pair? Yeah, I have to go with that. Tiger Grass Camo Drops. And what it does is like, it kind of like evens out your skin tone. So I have this really weird thing where my skin gets like really red, like right here on my cheeks and like my nose. And like concealer doesn't help, foundation doesn't help. So I looked it up and there's a word for it. And like, I think my mom and I both have it, but we haven't gone to the dermatologist and like really checked it out. So I will have to do that. But for now, this is a great solution. So I just put this on before I do anything. So I just put one drop on each cheek and then I put three on the top, on the nose. I just put it everywhere. I'm just going to rub it in to neutralize the redness. It does other things too, but I really only bought it because of the um, neutralizing effect. Now I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's light to vanilla. That is the color. I'm just gonna put that on my eyes and and I'm going to take my beauty blender and just dab it all over. So clearly I'm in a different location. I'm in Los Angeles at the moment. I don't really have like a set filming space. I don't know. I kind of like this area, but we'll see. Because in July or August, about around that time, I'll be moving out here officially. So all my videos will take place here. So I'll have to figure out a good location. So now I'm taking the Glossier Boy Brown. I believe the color is, yep, it's just brown. Um, it is my favorite. Like, I am in love with this product. You guys heard the uh, saga, the uh, eyebrow saga? <laughs> 
the whole situation that I dealt with, with the woman making them too thin, and then I was like really growing them out and they were very bushy. I wanted them to get as like thick as they could so I could go in to the girl who normally does my brows and she could fix them. Now that she has, I don't have to use like the Anastasia pencil, which I, I love that product, but I love this Glossier Boy Brown. It's super simple. It just makes my whole look look a lot more natural. I've never really been into like the uh, super dramatic brows that I feel like a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube do. The moral of this little rant is I love this product. Glossier Boy Brow Brown. And now I'm going to take this nude color right here in the middle. I'm just gonna glide it all over my lid, my eyelid. So now I'm going to take the Urban Decay. I think it's called X. It looks like this. I find it very pretty and very summery. So I'm going to take this uh, brush that I have. It's actually from this Smashbox palette. So I'm going to take this side and I'm just going to take my Mario Badewski facial spray. I'm gonna spritz it on here to get my brush wet. So I'm just going to really load the eyeshadow onto this brush. And then I'm going to put it all over like my lid and a little bit up into my crease. We're getting that summer look, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like the last summer look I did was very um kind of intense with like that reddish pinkish look. Do you remember I did that last year? I'm going for this simple kind of very bright and shimmery look, clearly. I'm dragging it all the way up here. So I recently got a lash lift. Let me tell you, I am obsessed. I hate that I always say obsessed because you guys call me out on it and I realized I do always say it. That's another word, it's amazing. I think this lash lift is amazing. I love it. I used to get lash extensions. I had them last summer. I believe that's the last time I had them. They're really a lot to maintain. I'm really just trying to be as natural as I can. So I didn't love the lash extensions, but my eyelashes were so short because I'd used the lash extensions and they kind of like ripped my eyelashes out. And then I used Latisse and my eyelashes grew out very, they are very long right now. And then when I got a lash lift, it just made it even better and it made my eyes really open up. And honestly, weirdly enough, I find that I can wear like less makeup because of how open my eyes are and how like, I don't know, it just makes me look more awake or something. I don't have to curl my lashes anymore. You can't get water on your eyelashes for the first 24 hours, but after that you can. However, I try not to because it makes them last a little longer. So just when I like wash my face, I'm like very gentle and yeah, it's nice. Now I'm going to take my Luminous Silk Foundation. The color is two. That's so sad. And I'm just gonna take the Beauty Blender. Time to apply the foundation. Wow, this is applying really nicely today. Wow, look at that pale girl. She's a natural, that's for sure. No sun on her skin. It's actually a little concerning. Like a couple of weeks ago, my mom actually asked me if I was ill because how pale I am. So I actually might lay out in the sun for like a second, but with lots of sunscreen on. We just wanna look like we're alive. I don't know if you can tell or if you ever noticed it in my previous videos, but because of that tiger grass, camo drops, whatever they're called, my skin is like less red underneath the foundation, which it always used to be like super red even after foundation. So now I'm just going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to apply it to my under eyes and my acne. So I'm in LA right now. I've been in LA for about two weeks. I visited the college I'm going to. I've been in this improv class. And I've really been enjoying it and I'm going to take the next level whenever I'm back here. Lots of really amazing meetings. I know for the past couple of months, I haven't had a ton going on career-wise because I've really been buckling down with school and just trying to finish high school. Wheels are spinning again, things are happening. So stay tuned, I'm so excited. There's so many like good things that are in the works and it just makes me so flipping excited. So I hope you're excited as well. Now I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to apply it. I don't apply that much, but I apply it on my cheekbones to warm up my face. Then I apply it to my forehead because that's where I would naturally get sun. And then I'm going to take my super fluffy brush and just kind of blend it so it doesn't look like dirty or smudgy. And now my matte blush, the lid fell off. So <laughs> we're just working with it. I believe this is Dame. I can't really tell. 
section. Now I'm going to take my Smashbox bronzer, concealer, and highlighter. I'm going to contour my nose. I actually hate contouring anywhere else. However, not a huge fan of my nose. So I do contour that right here and there, here and there. Perfect. I'm gonna blend it all with my mermaid brush from Tarte. I believe, yes it is Tarte. How cute is this? We really got the summer vibes going on now. Now, the fun part, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually have no idea what the Amrezzy. It's a highlighter. And I'm gonna take my Sigma brush for highlight and I'm going to apply it to my nose. My cupid bow and my cheek. If I don't, if I do like a pretty basic eye or if I just have eyeliner or something on, then I'll apply a highlighter like up here. But since I have like a shimmery eyeshadow going on, I don't want it to be too sparkly. So I'm not going to put it there. Now I'm just going to blend it all. Now I shall take my brown eyeliner from Urban Decay 24-7 Light On Eye Pencil. It is whiskey. And I'm just going to, we're going to be getting into trouble over there and I just know I have so much stuff to clean up after I film this and it's just like, oh, like I'm getting a little bit, like a tiny, tiny taste of what it's going to be like to be a mom. And if it's more intense than this, then maybe I'll just be a fun aunt. We'll see. But I'm going to apply this under my eye. And like, I feel like it's really pretty when people put white in their waterline, but I don't prefer it on me, at least when I do it. When I'm working with a makeup artist and they do it, it tends to look better. I really love peaches on people with blue eyes. I feel like green eyes, it'd be really pretty with brown eyeliner. Sometimes I'll do like purple eyeliner. So now I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs in the buff. It's a little, um, eyeliner. It's kind of like a white actually, but it's a little bit more shimmery. I'm just going to apply that in the corner of my eyes. Really makes me look awake. And honestly, it looks pretty similar to the eyeshadow I put on, but the eyeshadow won't stick in the corner of my eyes. So I use this little pencil. See, I just think it looks so fun. So this is a big moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex today. Today I'm going to be using Their Real from Benefit. <laughs> Ow! Changing it up. How wild am I? And like I said, since I have my lash lift, I don't have to use an eyelash curler. Which is great because I never get all of my lashes in the curler. So then I'll have like a few that are like curled and then a few that aren't like going down and then it like just looks crazy. And the ones on the side like are like bent like completely in half and so then it just looks weird. Okay, my friend and I were talking about this the other day. Who remembers like the clumpy lash look? Like when that was, my eyes were watering. <laughs> when that was the thing, like the clumpy eyelash look, like the spidery look. I was like, what? Why is this a thing? I was so confused, but it's over now, so. Actually, what are the latest beauty trends? I don't even know. Like there's this new dance move. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like something like, I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to do it, so don't make fun of me. I just want you all to know how hard that was for me because whenever I put mascara on, I make the strangest faces and I couldn't make those faces while I was putting it on, so I was like, I kind of multitask. Okay, what am I missing? Just the lipstick, let me go grab that. I'm mad at Barnaby because he slipped in my room. Again, there is this color I just bought from YSL. It's um, Rogue. Volepti, Volepti. It's kind of like a sheer color. It's pink, it's kind of more neutral. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. It feels so good on my skin or on my lips. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I'm sure I could find a few that are a little cheaper. It is pretty pink, but I don't mind it with the shirt. I actually think it works with the earrings and the shirt. So that is it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did in the comment section down below. Tell me if you are excited for summer because I can't flipping wait. Are you excited for summer? I'll see you next week. I love you all, bye.